हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर नीतू जैन वर्किंग एज एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर एट इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन न्यू डेली टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक यूज ऑफ ऑडियो विजुअल एड्स इन ट्रेनिंग बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द डिस्कशन लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द कंटेंट्स इंट्रोडक्शन टू ऑडियो विजुअल एड्स इन ट्रेनिंग क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ ऑडियो विजुअल एड्स टाइप्स ऑफ ऑडियो विजुअल एड्स selection of audio visual aids criteria for a good audio visual aid followed by summary introduction to audio visual aids audio visual aids are used to assist communication between people if audio visual aids are used information is understood and remembered more clearly than without the use of the aid some aids can convey a message on their own but usually they supplement the spoken or written word by using audio visual aids the interest of the learner is not lost and illustrations come smooth and with an easy flow audio visual aids create a sense of involvement in the learning when dealing with abstract ideas audio visual aids have the world over become an aid to the trainer to tap sensory faculties of the trainees and thereby use reinforcement and retention principles of learning for producing the transfer effect of knowledge from the facilitator to the learner rationale behind using audio visual aids audio visual aids appeal to a variety of senses they helps focusing the attention of the trainees on the content they brings about a change in the pace of the trainer they are you know more vivid and leave a lasting impression on the minds of the trainees they consolidate learning and act as reference material for later use they help in relating and transferring learning to the real situation classification of audio visual aids we can classify aids into three groups according to the senses they appeal to visual aids which appeal to the senses of sight audio visual aids which appeal to the senses of sight and hearing audio aids which appeal to the senses of hearing types of audio visual aids mechanical types could be overhead projectors light projectors computers cd players simulators videos non mechanical types could be chalkboards white boards flannel boards flip charts charts posters maps graphs photographs textbooks manuals handouts blackboards this is most used audio visual aid and it is the most primitive medium as well people consider it as most effective and dependable medium the boards like everything else with continued use have evolved it is a good idea to have a blackboard in non learning situations irrespective of other facilities it is a need to convey some basic points to a group of people whiteboard this is relatively a new innovation in the class of writing material for a group essentially it employs a board with a plastic finish upon which the instructor writes with a felt tipped pen ordinary kinds of pen do not function on these boards magnetic board magnetic board is again a variation to the blackboard and the whiteboard of different variety it is essentially designed on the use of magnetic principle and one can slide object across the board peg board this helps in displaying the pre planned diagrams figures logos etc as a visual aid it is easy and simple to use but needs a lot of preparatory time the trainer has to just hang the ready articles models and diagrams of the models with the help of a common pin and holders flannel boards this board is made out of a special kind of fiber such as wool or base on which the display materials can be hung or stuck by attaching sandpaper or lint 
to the reverse side of the cloth. On this both, a set of things that belong next to each other on some principles or order can be easily shown one by one. This could also be used for a poster demonstration. Plastic board. This board is white in color and made of a special kind of plastic which permit clean and smooth surface for writing and projection. These boards are comparatively expensive and rather they differ from a white board in as much as they require different kind of color pencil for writing on them. The flip chart. It is similar to a chalkboard but usually free standing. It can be used spontaneously or can be prepared in advance. Models and objects. A model is advanced construction or preparation of enlarged or reduced scale reproduction or use of the object itself. It can be operational, sectional or transparent. The purpose is to make visible and accessible things which would be either too large or too small for adequate classroom use or to lend authenticity through the presence of the real thing. A trainer should arrange the facilities and the group so that the model can be seen by members of the group. Manuals, handouts and textbooks. They provide advanced provision for reference or guide in the study of a specific subject matter. In order to provide a firm framework of material which the trainee may take away with him or her and keep for future use, manuals can be used. They can be employed as advanced or ongoing reading during training sessions or as review materials. Summary cards. These are pocket size checklists or reviews of major points, step by step guides for procedures which are highly condensed in form. The purpose is to provide a memory booster which may be kept for a study at leisure and used as a guide. Though they will serve a most important need in reminding the trainee what has been learned, their Briefness makes it necessary that he or she has an adequate understanding of the subject as a whole. Overhead projectors. These are also among the most commonly used visual projection aids. It can be used in daylight with reasonable effectiveness. This is best operated by the instructor himself. Though there are various people who because of the locational placing of the podium have somebody else assisting them. With the change of transparencies, many find two-fold action on this clumsy. Slide projectors. Slide projectors use 35 mm film and present or show one picture at a time. Very often they can project text also. These can be controlled almost entirely by the trainer and he can decide what to show, when to show and how long to show. The mechanized Changing of the capacity of the slide projector makes it easier to coordinate it with tape recorder should the audio facilities be attempted to be superimposed on the slide projects. Many trainers like to use the slide projector accompanied by written material and illustrate the main points. Clear drafting has to be done and very often the size considerations have to be kept in mind. Computer projections. In this method, the subject matter is put on a pen drive and tracks are cut like any other subject matter being put on a floppy. This can be both a single track or double track. The advantage of this method is that with appropriate te technical support, one can put the matter on a floppy and the screen and go on changing at regular periodicity without manual intervention. Films. As a visual aid to provide support facilities to training, films are a great medium. They bring the outdoor world in the training situation which itself is a tremendous learning experience. It is widely agreed that films are a powerful medium with tremendous impact. However, the crux of the use of films in a training situation is the problem of selection. Televisual aids or videotapes. There is an increasing use of television medium in training. When described, the method appears simple but requires a control on the hardware which has to be sensitive and the trainer or facilitator must know exactly where and how to use it. Selection of visual aids. 
audio visual aids cover a large range and it is very important to select very carefully the medium depending upon the message one wants to give while they are useful in many ways its preparation and use and integration with training needs considerable prior preparation which aid will present the information to the best advantage this will require careful consideration of the objective of the session and the main points the learners are to learn you should also consider the number of learners likely to be present and their entry behavior a further consideration is the information you wish to tell the audience as opposed to it being developed during the session how many visual aids should be used as for software there is no easy answer having too many visual aid can irritate audience but this has to be considered in relation to the information being presented too many pieces of visual aid hardware can result in confusion for both you and the learners keep the equipment used to the minimum but balance this against the main points to be presented in a pre prepared format and points to be elicited from the learners and recorded for reference purposes using colors in visual aids visibility with all visual aids it is vital that it should be seen by everyone color can be used to highlight various parts of the aid contrast in order to use colors to best advantage it is essential to know what colors give the greatest contrast and visibility some of the color pairs are in the order of contrast are given below interest colors always add interest to any aid consider your reaction to color films in contrast to black and white colors add an extra dimension to a visual which is absent with black and white coding where diagrams or aids are complex it is possible to simplify them by using colors for a particular set of parts with careful thought about colors the emphasis can be placed where the trainer wishes to draw our trainee's attention legibility as with visibility the choice of colors is important to provide clear communication for example when using the same sizes of lettering different effects can be obtained by using black on yellow rather than brown on green when choosing colors for your visual aids remember be selective in the colors you use try to restrict the number of colors to a maximum of about 4 on one visual keep the bolder strong contrasting colors for emphasis and use pastel colors like pale yellow pink or blue for general background color blindness can present problems for some trainees so try to avoid light shades of olive green pink etc these are often the colors where this problem criteria for a good audio visual aid or factors enhancing the effectiveness of aid it is important to select the aid carefully and weave the aid sensitively into the basic learning issues involved the cost factor is also very much a part of the feasibility of the training aid and this can be the only training institution specific or facilitator specific so let us see the factors simplicity all audio visual aids should be simple and clear trainees cannot assimilate all that av8 provides if the considerations of pace and skill and feasibility of comprehension are not kept in mind many well intended training exercises have come to naught because of an urge on the part of facilitator to give all that he has this in many cases is neither desirable nor necessary next relevance the audio visual aids should be selected by keeping the objectives of training in mind if the particular aid is not relevant to the subject being discussed then obviously the attempt to use it just to break the monotony would not be very wise visibility one of the common feeling in the use of av8 is the visibility the size of the print is important a smallest significant detail should be projected well so that the most distant learner can understand it trend in av8 is to go colorful today 
which means that it should have a proper size and letter and we should select the colors properly. Attractiveness that which is not visually pleasing is not capable of retaining interest. So the role of aesthetics in life has not very often been appreciated in learning situation although it's not true so it should be appealing as well. Timeliness it is unwise to use audio visual aid at the wrong place and at the wrong time. It is far better not to use the aid than to misallocate. There is also consideration of time distribution. If the ratio between the use of AV8 and talking by facilitator as well as participation of the learner is not kept proper, results can be counterproductive. Flexibility. No two groups have same need. No two groups have identical composition and no two groups are congruent. Accordingly, the selection of methods, tools, material of instruction have to be grouped and if need be person specific. Therefore, facilitator should select the aid according to the demand and if need be vary them. Summary. Audio visual techniques can increase and reinforce the learning. If audio visual aids are carefully selected, there is an increased effectiveness. Proper use and selection of visual aids requires considerable investment of time and thought. And this is a trainer's responsibility to strengthen efforts to make the training program more effective and interesting by careful selection of visual aids, whether charts, graphs, boards, films, etc. To summarize, this module discussed different audio visual aids, their benefits, criteria for selecting different audio visual aids, and various considerations which a trainer should keep in mind before using audiovisual aids. Thank you friends.